Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in American Truck Simulator and we're going to be checking out a brand new truck mod. This is the Freightliner Cascadia raised roof and there's a lot of different things that we can do with this truck before we buy it but we're actually going to have to trade in for it because on this save all of our garage spaces are full but that's fine because I'm going to go ahead and trade in my Kenworth for it. So we're going to go ahead and customize the configuration first because there's a few different options you can, uh, you can option up for this truck. You can do it in a... 6x4 or 6x2 conversion, obviously we're doing 6x4, um, you can do a few different things uh, as far as engine and transmission combinations, um, for engines, we're gonna go with, if I can find it, uh, let's see, I kind of want the ISX Series 15, because I, that's what I use in a lot of my trucks, I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna just select that one for now, and, oh, actually, go with the 551, let me just make sure there's, oh, wait, no, we can either do the uh, Detroit Diesel Series 16 or the ISX Series 15. Both have 600 horsepower and both have uh, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Um, the torque in the, in the Detroit comes on a little bit earlier than the torque in the Cummins. I'm going to do, let's see... I think I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run the 600 horsepower Cummins engine, and then from there, transmission-wise, hmm. Transmission-wise, we've got a lot of different options here. I usually run. Oh, come on! It's like, boy, it's not. It's it doesn't want to go anywhere. It literally doesn't want to scroll. Oh, there we go. Uh, the Eaton Fuller 18 speed. That's usually what I end up going with. And I think that that's what I'm going to end up going with in this truck, too, because it's the most versatile transmission option. Um, there's really not that, not too much in terms of, like, pre-made interior configurations, but the interior itself is fully custom-made, and I actually do like it quite a bit. You can actually see the sleeper back there with all of the, like, you can see the really old, like, TV screen and everything. That's kind of cool. Um, you can see the air ride seats, the gear shift, the dash, everything. It's actually a really, really nice interior, especially for a mod. Um, colors wise, we've got a few different actual like paint schemes we can we can use here. I'm probably gonna go ahead and go with the mm, oh god metallic paint. Oh geez, I want to run this particular uh, Freightliner one because I actually do quite like it. Um, holy crap! There's so many. There's so many. What the? That? <laughs> Dude, okay. Um, God, there's so freaking many of these. Just running through all of these right now. Sunset Metallic. Like, my God. Wait, what is this? Atomic Lagoon Metallic. What? Oh, that, no, it's custom color up top, and then that Atomic Lagoon thing. Uh, I'm going to run the Freightliner livery just because I, I kind of like it, and I think it's a really good one to use to demonstrate the truck. Accessories-wise, there's so many different places that you can, like, put accessories and stuff. It's, it's nuts. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, there's different spots for accessories. There's, like, you can put horns on the truck. You can put all sorts of things, like... There's, there's, you could spend so much time in here that it's kind of insane. Honestly, it's kind of insane how much time you can spend in here. I'm going to see what options we have for exhaust. And let's see. Oh, smoke. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, hopefully that's not on all the time. Cause if that's on all the time, it might get a little bit annoying, but that would be like, when I say all the time, I mean like when I'm not accelerating when I'm just parked and like it pretty much like every single time. I don't know. I don't think that would be, I don't think that would be that great, but, uh, plastic paint or chrome. I don't really like chrome on this truck. So I'm going to run, I'm going to run just like that matte black look. Uh, let's see Freightliner or we can do the Cascadia logo. I'm going to run the Freightliner logo. I think and then right here, paint or chrome. Oh my God. You can really go like down to it with the um, with the customization features here. It's just so insane. I do like the shadow wheels though. Like I like everything kind of blacked out. I think it really uh, I think it really kind of brings this style together. You know what I mean? It it gives the truck a little bit more of a rugged look in my opinion, and it just kind of sets it off a little bit more. You know? Gives it there we go shadow look. 
And, oh my god, the hub cover, the hub itself. My god, there's so many options. Let's see. Clear glass headlights, smoked lights, dark light. Ooh. I like the dark lights. That's different. Oh, you can do paint or black. You can black out the housings, too. That's actually really cool. I like that. Whoa, that's... Jeez, there's so many freaking things you can do on this thing. God. It's... It's ridiculous. What about... Are these for... Wait. Oh, those are the, like, the... Though that's the interior flooring, like the floor mats and stuff. What about over here? That's the light. What about this? Grill add-ons now. Or to, oh, my God! So many accessory slots. Jeez! Um, I don't know if I... Like, I don't know if you, I even would know what to put there. We can do oversized load. And then you get all those other accessory slots. It's, yeah, that's pretty insane. What about right here? Flags. We can do, oh my god. Flags on both sides. What else? What else? What else? Uh, what about up here? It's for the mirrors itself. Yeah, okay, that's for mirrors. It's mirrors themselves. And then, oh, don't disappear on me. What about here? Smoked cabin glass. Mirrored cabin glass. Oh, that's different. Dark glass, smoked glass. Jeez. There's so much customization. I don't even... I barely know, like, where to begin for some of it. It's just so, uh, it, frankly, in intense. Like... Wait, bronze, smoked glass, mirrored. You can do a mirrored windshield if you want. That's kind of crazy. You can do a tinted windshield, bronzed, cleared. I'm going to do cleared because, I don't know, I like to use the um, you know, USA flag. I like to do, or I like to use the interior view a lot, and I feel like that might get in the way. Um, let's see, what else do we have? What else do we have? Wait, what in line? Oh, that, you gotta be inside to see? I guess? I guess you would, oh, yeah, that's all, okay, you know what? You know what? Let me go inside, because that's all inside stuff. What's that? Calendar, up there? <laughs> that's legit. Okay, no, you know what? Never mind that, and then... Windshield sets, big flag, what about here? Let's see, GPS, oh dude, you can do windshield mounted GPS, oh my god, so much stuff. What about over here, clear, oh that's the glass itself, that's the mirror, um, let's do, what is this? You can put like, drinks in the, oh my god, I know it's just me like, reacting to a lot of stuff, but, holy crap, we'll put a Red Bull in there, what about over here, you can do like a different drink as well. You could do, like, a Red Bull in one, and, like, oh gosh, I don't even know a monster in the other, or, like, we'll just, we'll just put that there. That'll work for now. Uh, what else do we have in here? Can we look? What do we have down here on the floor? That's different. I'm trying to get it to look in the proper direction. Let's see, center floor mats. Uh, what? What? Where's those? Where do those go? Carpets, let's see... That's more like floor mats than carpets, but are these seats themselves, or just things that could go, I guess those aren't appearing. <laughs> I was just like, I guess those aren't appearing right now. They're, they're just going to do their thing. Okay. What about all these things on the dash? Let's see. Dashboard lights. Oh, God. Okay, that's a little bit deeper than I was thinking about. Uh... No, okay, we can put that on the dash if we want as well. What about here in the center? Okay, that's showing the outside. Computer and GPS. That's not mountable, but that is. Do a tablet over there. Oh, nope. No. And then, oh wait, paint, glass, chrome. Oh, dude, okay. What about this? What do we have? Oh, this is like the dash surround. God! We'll do the, uh, aluminum for that. And then this, I'm guessing, is... Oh, never mind, that's down there. Because it doesn't really know how to differentiate between the two. And that is... Where is this can going? It, like, down there? I feel like that's kind of dumb. I'm not going to put anything down there. 
but let's go back to the main area and we will say confirm and then we're going to go ahead and trade in yes oh this is going to be this is going to be this is going to be fun pleasure doing business with you all trucks bought here have regular insurance paid already all right that works okay so seeing this truck in the open for the first time is going to be a, <laughs> an interesting experience for sure look at that thing holy crap thing is massive i do want to do like a short hauling mission with it first off just so you guys can get a sense of what it's like to drive with but that's going to be that's going to be coming up very very soon yeah the problem with that smoke is like i don't know if i like it or not because it's like on constantly it's not just on when you're accelerating or when the truck is under load like it's literally on all the freaking time so i don't know how i feel about that that's the only thing that i'm a little iffy on with the truck but other than that i really really like it let's see Get it started up. Oh, come on. There we go. We get... Oh, come on. I was like, give me my exterior view, please. How do we get out of here? Oh, not that way. Oh, the road's back there. Okay. The sound is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how I... Whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the sound. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Uh, it's got, whoa, it actually has two, like, really, really, really low gears, uh, before you get into first and second. That's, that's interesting. So what is this thing like to drive? Well, it's actually, it's, it's, it's interesting, because, whoa. With this engine, it's fast. It's really fast really 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 fast oh brakes whoo that was um close <laughs> that was close oh god hi be careful where you're walking I, I i would highly advise that you be careful where you're walking so i think you know what actually in the next episode we're gonna start off the next one with a hauling mission with the freightliner cascadia with this custom freightliner cascadia and I hope you guys did enjoy the build. I know I, I enjoyed showing you guys all the features of this thing. And make sure you come back next time to check it out. And I will be here showing it for you guys. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like. Tell, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more daily videos just like this one. Well, not just like this one. It'll be a little bit different. But hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.